What's going on, good people? This is CDL Shorty. So look, real quick, I want to say this, right? Anyone out there that's going to trucking school or about to be going to trucking school, I want to tell you guys that guess what? I believe in you. You can do this, all right? You could do this. I believe in you personally. The reason why I say I believe in you is because when you get there, it's going to be hard. But don't give up. It's going to be mind-boggling. It's going to be confusing. But don't give up. You got this. You could do this. Push through. Fight through. Only you can control you and only you can, can change only you can change you. So with that being said, guess what? You got this, baby. You can make it to the finish line. You got this. And also, don't let them throw you in an automatic because you're going to have to come back to truck driver school to get that automatic restriction lifted off your license. So guess what? Fight through that pain of trying to get that manual down. You got this. Fight through that pre-trip. Work on it every single day, every single night. You got this. You could do this, baby. There's a video on my channel, and I want to thank y'all for making it as popular as it is. But it's got 10 million views. And it's of the young gentleman, uh, or not the young gentleman, but the gentleman. I'm helping him shift. It's got 10 million views. You want to know one reason why that video did as well as it did? Because you had other instructors that didn't believe in this gentleman. You had other instructors that, first of all, I was a part-time instructor. All right? This was kind of towards the end of my um, uh, um, instructing career, right before I got really, really sick. <clears throat> so I was only at the school for like two days out the week. You had other instructors that would come in my ear and be like, yeah, man, he just ain't getting it. Yeah, I, I don't think he should do this. This ain't for him. You know, uh, he just, he's just hard-headed. He's just this and he's just that. They were talking down on this man. But guess what? I got this man in the truck. And I'm not saying he did good because of me, but I believed in him. And he was only in the truck with me for two days, but he been with them for two months. And then I give credit where credit is due. I text everybody because we was in a group chat. I text everybody and say, ain't nothing wrong with this man. Y'all did a good job giving them credit, but they was talking down on this man. I don't talk down on nobody. There's other instructors out there, right, that don't believe in you. But guess what? CDL Shorty believe in you. There's other instructors out there that, that don't take their time. But guess what? There are instructors out there that will take their time. So when you in CDL school and you with an instructor that's got a lot of mouth and attitude, talking down, not being helpful, guess what? You don't have to work with them. You want to work with somebody that believes in you and I believe in you. The question is, do you believe in yourself? Do you believe in yourself? to make it through the finish line. See, one thing about me is I feel like, I feel like it's an honor, you know, that God, the creator, the universe, the supreme being, whatever you want to call it, I feel like it's an honor to go through this darkness point of time in my life. Because guess what? When I make it out of this heart transplant, I'm gonna come back with the light, baby. I'm gonna come back with the light and the light is y'all. I feed off of y'all and I love y'all. You know, that's the reason why every uh, truck driver school I would go to, no, none of the other instructors liked me. You want to know why they didn't like me? Because I always go above and beyond for y'all. I did all kind of crazy stuff for y'all. Was it crazy? No, I was just going above and beyond. Well, when you say above and beyond, what do you mean? Oh, I was taking students to truck stops and giving them real world situation and letting them back up in between trucks. I was taking students to truck stops and showing them the laundry room and the showers. I was taking students to truck stops and I was making them fill up the truck. First of all, I showed them how to do it. Then I was making them to fill up, fill up the truck. I was doing all kinds of stuff. There's other stuff that I, that I, that I was doing that I'm not going to tell y'all about, but I was doing all kinds of stuff to get real world training. And you had other instructors that was doing the bare minimum. And before I left this one school, not the school that start with a C and not the school with the red and blue, the other school, if y'all look on my channel, y'all, Y'all be able to figure out and cipher who I'm talking about. But before I left them, we had a meeting. And I walked away under my own too, by the way. I quit them. But we had a meeting. And you know what they told me? They told me I was doing too much. 
They told me, CDL Shorty, that I was doing too much. And what they mean by that is when you come with me and you learn how to drive this, you learn, I teach you all the gears, baby. All of them. Cause when you get off my truck, you gonna know how to drive that truck in every situation. You know what they told me? I would have my students downshift from 10, 9, 9, 8, 8, 7, 7, 6, flip the switch, go down to five. Or sometimes I have them go from 10 to nine, skip eight, go to seven, six, flip the switch, go to four. You know what they told me? Why are you doing that? You're doing too much. These were their words. Right hand to God. If I'm lying, I'm flying. These were their words. I was doing too much. I talked to my wife about it. My wife told me, tell them, y'all not doing enough. So when I tell y'all, y'all don't have to spend y'all money with these, with these truck driving schools out here. Y'all don't have to. Keep searching. Keep finding until you find the right one for you. That's got good equipment, clean equipment, good instructors. That's not bragging about going home early. One truck driving school I worked at, you had a couple of them that always bragged about going home early. Then with a the manager, the big dog wasn't there. Guess what? They would go home early. Truck driving school was supposed to be from eight. No, no, I'm sorry. Supposed to be from seven to 5.30. When the big boss went in there, guess what? They was out at 4.30. So, like I'm saying, CDL Shorty, I believe in y'all. I believe in y'all. You can do it. You got this. Fight through the pain. You think this heart transplant that I'm about to go through, you think that's fun for me? No, it's painful. My sickness that I got going on right now, you think that's fun for me? No, it's painful. I got a pacemaker inside of my chest. But you'll never be able to tell because I don't look like what I'm going through, baby, because I'm doing it for y'all. I love y'all. The mentorship. Ain't nobody offering a mentorship program like me because I'm going to be with y'all. Available 24-7 for y'all. <clears throat> but guess what? Number one, you got to do one thing for me. You got to believe in yourself. You got to believe in yourself. If you don't believe in yourself, then guess what? Ain't nothing I can do for you. Ain't nothing I can do for you. I don't even want to work with you if you don't believe in yourself. You know, one reason why students used to be so comfortable and calm around me because I bring a spirit of calmness around because guess what? On the back of that truck, not that truck, that truck. On the back of that truck, it says student driver. So I put you in uncomfortable situations out on the road where we got movie blocking cars, we got cars honking and blah, blah. Hey, I tell the students, don't worry about that man that's going on behind you. It's a student driver for a reason. <clears throat> So I get them to calm down. I get them to relax. I get them to breathe and think why we out here in this truck. Why are we doing what we doing to get you to the finish line? So don't worry about that madness. People honking their horn, flipping us off, cussing us out. Don't worry about that. <clears throat> don't worry about that. Concentrate on the task at hand. You got this. Relax. 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 You got this. I'm proud of you. You got this. All right, now think about what gear you need to go to. All right, need to go to third, go to third. All right, now take me up to here. Take me down the road. All right, relax, really You're getting a little jerky with the clutch. Relax, relax. All right, go from third to fourth. All right, good, you got it, keep going, you can do this. Go from fourth to fifth, damn, okay, I see. Flip that switch, which where you need to go to now? They go, all right, I see you. You have to encourage them. All right, one thing, hey, let me tell y'all something. Every time I go in for these heart treatments, <clears throat> when I go in and they put this in me, all this stuff that I got to go through for heart, every time I go through, y'all don't think CDL Shorty is nervous? I'm nervous as hell. But guess what calms me down? When you have the doctor, they got to go in my neck every single week. It's called a right heart catheter. They got to go in my neck. They got to put this thing with a balloon all the way down inside of my heart and it stays in me for two three sometimes four days tops sometimes five y'all don't think i'd be nervous about that <clears throat> sometimes they got to cut me open and do stuff y'all don't think i'd be nervous about that yes i do but guess what calms me down when i have the doctor or the surgeon or whoever it is talk to me relaxes me like i'm a person 
good conversation. Then sometimes they'll grab my hand and they'll hold my hand while they're doing the procedure. They'll hold my hand like this. And I'm a grown man. And another grown man or grown woman is holding my hand to calm me down and relax me. That's what you got to do with these students. You got to calm them down, relax them. See, I take, I hold training very near and dear to my heart. That's why I can sit here and say, come get trained by the best because I was the best. See, some of these companies out here play games. You know, they used to give, they used to give uh, um, employee of the month and all that to, to these people. I would never get employee of the month. Then it got so embarrassing, I'd be like, man, I don't even want that no more. But guess what? All it, but the majority, if not all of the students, guess what? I was cool with them and they always wanted to be trained by me. All your little employee of the month awards, keep them. I don't want them. I want to be the people's champ. Because I treat these students like they're regular human beings. You got some truck driving schools that don't treat these students like they're regular human beings. You got some truck driving schools that will sit there and listen to you, the student, complain. And then they'll go and tell the instructors, yeah, man, that, that student gets on my nerves. Or, that student this or that. I'm telling, I'll give y'all all the backstage stuff. <clears throat> I love y'all and I do this for y'all. You don't have to spend your money with just anybody. You have the control. All these truck driving schools out here that's playing with y'all, that's playing around with y'all, <clears throat> and they program look like crap, and the pro program is crap, and the trucks look like crap. Guess what? You have the power to not do business with them and shut them down. <clears throat> you have that power. It's strength in numbers. Believe that. So, hey, I just want to tell y'all, I love y'all. In 2025, mid-2025, or whenever I come out of recovery, guess what? You, CDL Shorty wants to train you. So come get trained by the best. I want to train you. All right? Y'all take care. Y'all be blessed. I love y'all. <clears throat> Reach out to me. I'm available for y'all. Y'all take care out there, all right? Hey, thank y'all for trucking with me.